Djokovic is a Serbian professional tennis player. Born, May 22, 1987, Belgrade, Serbia. You have to consistently be successful to be one of the top players in the world, and everything is possible in life. I am fast and very powerful on the court, so this is what matters. I always try to have something that keeps my mind relaxed, keeps my mind a little bit off tennis. Tennis players we're always playing in center courts that feel like arenas. And when we get on the court and the crowd cheers your name or salutes you, it's like you're a gladiator in the arena. And everyone is cheering, and you're fighting, you're screaming, during your strokes, it feels like you're an animal, fighting for your life. I stopped thinking too much about what could happen and relied on my physical and mental strength to play the right shots at the right time. Imagine a part of the USA, from which the USA started, where is the cradle of your history? This is Kosovo for Serbia. I want to help children in Serbia and around the world so they can realize their dreams. My nutritionist has done a great job in changing my diet after we established I am allergic to things like gluten, I can't eat pizza, pasta and bread. I have lost some weight, but my movement is sharper and I feel great. The tradition in Serbia has always been team sports, football, basketball, handball, volleyball and water polo, individual sports are not supported. My father never talked about the sacrifices that the family made for me. Building a solid foundation in the early years of a child's life will not only help him or her reach their reach their full potential but will also result in better societies as a whole. In order to stay where I am, and I want to do that, I have to stay dedicated as well as I have been before I became number one. But, it's because we have a harder way to succeed in life as Serbs because of the past that we had and because of the history that we had. We have to dig deeper and we have to do much more in order to be seen and to be spotted. It's always easier if you have the support of your family, if you're not alone. I came from a country that has been through a lot of troubles in the last 20 to 30 years, but we have been through them together. I don't think there has been enough communication between the players and the tournaments. In one sense it's just as much the player's fault. Players talk between each other and in the locker room about things that can be improved and then when the time comes to talk and really do something about it they stop. I love football and it's the sport I would really like to play. I've said on national television here that I would really love to play for a one of our football clubs when I finished my tennis career.